Welcome once again to Breakfast Central. Kenya and the Republic of Congo signed on Saturday 18 cooperation agreements and memoranda of uh, understanding during Kenyan President William Ruto's state visit to Congo Brazzaville. The 18 agreements and memorandum of understanding signed by the people, uh, or rather at the People's Palace in Brazzaville, the capital of Congo Republic, cover different areas including agriculture, livestock, mining, tourism, education, oil and gas, and a lot more. In the words of Congolese President Denis Sassou during a press conference after the signing ceremony, he says, these agreements that we have signed will not be documents lying in the drawer. We will follow the execution. Meanwhile, Kenya's President William Ruto embarked Friday on a 72-hour state visit to the Republic of the Congo in order to deepen its democracy and its diplomacy, rather. Joining us this morning is public affairs analyst Gakuna Njima Castro, who will be joining us to share the importance of this deal to Kenya as well as to Congo. Good morning and thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me this morning. All right. Um, we see that they have signed a number of deals, and one of these is which allows a... Uh, is a visa free, you know, the lifting of the visa ban or the visa uh, requirements between Kenya and Congo Brazzaville. Talk to us as to why this is important, you know, and what is the importance of this deal, not just to Kenya, but also to Congo Brazzaville. Congo. Yeah, the diplomatic development that has happened between uh, Brazzaville and Nairobi, of course, it's very significant at this era of geopolitical new realities that we are having to develop new uh, or to develop um, uh, international relations based on uh, international, based on internal and uh, of course domestic interest that is driving each and every partner in this, uh, uh, these relations. So on Kenya and Congo are coming together to advance the bilateral relations, of course, it has a great significance both to people from Kenya and the people of the Republic of Congo. And uh, the corporations they have signed, of course, there are more than uh, 18 corporations and in sectors that Kenya and, and Congo will be cooperating and advancing the relations. And uh, it's very significant, especially when we are having uh, uh, this era that we are advancing the uh, Africa, the African continental free trade area. And then we are having the intra, intra uh, countries and intra African countries issues like that of Kenya and Congo. And then we are, we, we, of course, we are seeing that advancement, which is will help people uh, uh, oppose even the movement and also even the, uh, the, the the ways of doing commerce and trading across the, uh, the, the the continent. So it's a great significance to, to, to many uh, people and Africans, and not only Kenya and, and Congo, and to many, of course, African uh, countries, because, uh, of course, trying to open up the borders and, and uh, of course, trying to uh, enter into a free uh, visa uh, agreement, that gives it an upper hand for uh, Kenya and Congo, of course, to advance a trade and, of course, in the movement of people and goods in and out of their countries. Um, all right. The, the agreements, uh, the MOUs that are signed, I'm just going to quickly share. Um, there's also the ones on telecommunications in, and digital economy, uh, cooperation in oil and gas, cooperation in the field of mining and geology, um, in the field of tourism. Oh, you just spoke about tourism and other things. Now, these are, you know, countries that are not, they're not neighboring countries. Kenya is in the east of the con uh, continent. Congo is, of course, you know, more of uh, Central, a Central Africa. So, um, you know, are these things that, you know, you, you think are feasible? Um, did they previously have, you know, a fantastic business and trade relationship um, that, of course, you know, they are trying to improve on? Or is this, you know, just paperwork that doesn't seem, you know, doesn't seem likely to provide anything uh, feasible? Mm, initially, the relation between Congo and, uh, and Kenya had been halved, of course it was jeopardized, but we are seeing a, a, resume, a resume of a new relationship between Kenya and, 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 and Congo. And uh, of course, there is that even uh, President William Ruto has already promised that it be uh, assigning or yes, assigning that assignment of the you know, opening air tra transport from Nairobi to Blazaville, that's by through Kenya Airways uh, by the end of the year. 
So we are uh, seeing an open uh, an opening avenue where Kenya and Congo will be cooperating again. Of course, those relationships have been jeopardized. Of course, uh, he has also promised that uh, Kenya will be setting a mission, a uh, resident mission in, in in Brazzaville, capital of Congo. So we are that, that it, it, it actually it's a start again. It's a start again of uh, of these relations that Kenya now is developing this cooperation with the the the, the, the central or the uh, Central African country, Congo. So, this is a new tradition, of course, we, 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 we are anticipating for an, an open or an open negotiation and, and a win-win institution where Kenya and Congo will be cooperating on this one. So, we are anticipating that there will be an open up of uh, telecommunication and transport system that will be connecting uh, both Kenya and uh, both Eastern Africa and Central Africa. Because we have been pushing for that, and many or, or most of the countries are. Let me let me give this scenario because uh, the Eastern Africa and Central Africa they much more cooperative. They are more of the same because of course they are bordering, and then this country have been cooperating. Uh, Central Africa borders East Africa through the Sudan and, uh, and, and uh, Ethiopia, and uh, these are of course it will connect both. Uh, Central Africa countries and Central, uh, the, the Eastern African countries and Central African countries. So it's the way from reading from the uh, uh, speeches, of course, they promise that this is not a thing that will uh, gain dust in their shelves. It's something that will be followed up and implementation will be done by both uh, nations. And Mr. Julia Muto had promised to push his way to see these agreements uh, come to, uh, uh, to truth. And then also uh, the president of Congo, uh, Denis Sassoon, has also promised to do the same uh, on his part. We're, we're also seeing, I mean, we've talked about the several areas, one of which you've mentioned is transport. And uh, William Ruto is talking about relaunching Kenya Airways to ensure that there is movement between Kenya and the Republic of Congo. Do we say that there, the numbers are they, part of the consideration sometimes when they're trying to establish this would be that they have a large request, you know, large numbers of people moving in between those countries. Would you say that uh, there are sufficient numbers? And is this something that is exciting that the people of Kenya and people of the Republic of Congo should be looking forward to by the end of the year? Of course, that is something that Kenya will be looking to because as much as most, most uh, business people, of course, they will be learning to Congo and most business people from uh, Congo will be learning to Kenya to seek for opportunities. And these are great achievements for both countries, of course, and bringing back uh, air transport. Uh, it isn't the transport of people from uh, or, uh, between both countries. And uh, there are those, of course, there are numbers that of people and much, uh, many of those, many people will be traveling there, there may be tourism, um, uh, that of education, the ministry that maybe want to come to uh, study here in uh, Kenya. Um, Kenyan students who want to go study in uh, Congo. And of course, there's those business men and women who want to go invest in Congo and some who will come invest in Nairobi. So that number is there. Of course, there's those people, of course, that uh, movement or, and mass movement of people and goods from Congo to, uh, uh, to, 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 to Nairobi. It's, it's guaranteed that it's there, and actually it's a great achievement, and Kenya, we are looking forward to have that uh, trip as that beginning by the end of this year. All right, well, uh, let's, you know, look forward to, of course, you know, m many more of these agreements signed. William Ruto, of course, has been praised for, you know, a lot of these moves that he's made since he's been in, in, in office. Uh, so, of course, let's see, let's see, you know, that these things actually be, become beneficial to both countries. And of course, encourage other countries across the continent to sign, you know, you know, business and trade um, and tourism MOUs like this, you know, and see if we can have, you know, a more successive um, um, economy across the continent. Thanks a lot for stopping by. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Have a blessed day.